today's vlogmas day 14. I just woke up. I have a doctor's appointment at 11.20 and it's 10.30, so that's fun. I'm literally going to get dressed and go to my doctor's appointment. It's an endo appointment. I mentioned it in yesterday's vlog, um, but basically I had an endo appointment that was scheduled for the 18th. And I'll be out of town that day, so I called to reschedule. And if I didn't go to the appointment today, because today she had an opening because she had a cancellation... So if I didn't go today, it would be March before I could get in. So I'm going today in less than an hour. So I'm going to wake up a little bit, get dressed, and be on with my day. Okay, so I just got to the doctor's office. I just parked. I'm about to go in. My hair is doing whatever it wants to do today. I have this really cute, like, scrunchie in, but it's like a bow scrunchie in the back. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know how I feel about it, but it's cute from the back, probably. Um, so I'm going to go in and talk to you guys after my endo appointment. Fingers crossed my A1C is good. Okay, so I just got home from the doctor and I went and got some lunch because I didn't eat breakfast this morning because I woke up. Hold on. And I didn't eat breakfast this morning because I woke up like less than an hour before I had to go to my doctor's appointment. But I look like a bum today. Yay. Hold on. Okay. Doctor's appointment. Let's chat a little bit. Um, so I'm going to share my A1C in this video, but I don't want to make anyone feel like if their A1C is higher than mine that I'm putting them down. Because I've kind of noticed in the Instagram diabetes community specifically, not as much on YouTube, but on Instagram, people tend to like to put others down based on their A1Cs. And I don't like sharing my A1C necessarily because I feel like it brings people down. And that's not why I'm on Instagram or YouTube. I'm on Instagram and YouTube to build people up and to encourage people to do the best they can with this disease. Because living with diabetes is one of the most difficult things I've ever had to do in my life. So I don't want to shame anyone about their in their. So I don't want to shame anyone about their A1C. I don't want to make anyone feel bad if their A1C is higher than mine. I don't want anyone to make me feel bad if your A1C is lower than mine. Um, we all go through rough patches where our diabetes is really difficult or where no matter what we do, we feel like we can't control our blood sugar. And every diabetic has gone through this. So I really, really want to emphasize that I'm not trying to shame anyone based on their A1C or like A1C shame someone. And I also don't want anyone to shame me about my A1C and be like, oh, that's your A1C. My A1C is this because I'm doing the best I can personally. And that's all I can do. And that's all anyone can do. So please Please don't make anyone feel bad about their A1C or anything like that. But with that being said, I'm going to tell you guys my A1C and the changes we made to my dosing. So first off, for my dosing, we changed my 6 a.m. basal rate because I've had a tendency to go low around like 6 a.m., 7 a.m., 8 a.m., 9 a.m., um, which is really annoying. So we changed my basal rate from point... Wait, hold on. We changed my basal rate at 6 a.m. from 1.05 to 0.8. And we changed my blood sugar correction ratio to 1 for 35. So my target blood sugar is 140. 
So if I'm 175, I'm going to get a unit correction. If I'm 210, I'm going to get a two unit correction. That's how that works. So those are the only changes we made because those are the only issues we really saw is that I was spiking some in the afternoon and then I was going low around like 8 and 9 a.m. So we made those changes and we're going to see how those work. But my A1C was 6.5. And my last A1C in July, because I haven't been to my Indo since July, was 6.7. So it's come down, which is always exciting. Um, I actually was really surprised. I would have thought that it would have gone up and not down. But it did, in fact, go up. Or what? No. It did, in fact, go down from 6.7 to 6.5. So that's really exciting. And I'm hoping with these corrections that we made to my pump settings that my A1C will continue to go down. An A1C of 6.5 means that my average blood sugar was 148, um, so that's really good. Obviously, I want to be below my target, but 148 is great. My doctor was really happy with everything, and I'm really, really happy with everything too, so yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I just got home from work and I really quickly wanted to show you guys my outfit that I wore to work because I didn't have time to show you before I left. So my hair was just down natural. It's probably gonna go up in a ponytail or a bun here in a few minutes. Um, and then I have this necklace on that Justin gave me for Christmas because we did a Christmas last night and it just has our anniversary in Roman numerals and it's rose gold and I love it. He got me rose gold because it's pink and pink's my favorite color, which I thought was super sweet. But anyways, Apple Watch, scrunchie from Amazon, same bracelet, same ring. This flannel is from Target. Um, American Eagle, these are like cream corduroy, so they're like the texture and like, yeah, you can see it. They're really soft and cozy, comfortable, even though they have a fake pocket. Um, a belt with my monogram on the side right there. And then my little brown ankle boots, and these are from Kohl's. Okay, so this vlog really, really sucks. And you guys are probably like, why are there two vlogs up in one day? So, I'm going to very quickly explain and then go to bed. Because my brother graduates college tomorrow, and I have to be up super early. So, basically, after dinner, which is like 8.30, 8.45... I came upstairs into my room to upload Vlogmas Day 13. I was playing Cards Against Humanities with Justin, my one of my best friends, and my brother and his two best friends. And so I came up here to check my blood sugar and calibrate my Dexcom and then upload Vlogmas Day 13. So I started uploading. It said it was going to be like a 20 minute upload time. I was like, okay, perfect. Then I'll schedule it to upload. And once it's up, I'll go in and add the description and everything. Because I just want to get it up. So I thought everything was fine. And then I came in my room at 1130. And it said that it was still processing. And then I had like 10 minutes. So I was like, okay, well, it'll finish processing. No big deal. Then at 12.30, I came in, and it still hadn't finished processing. So I've been trying to upload Vlogmas Day 13 since 8.30 or 8.45 on December 13th. So Vlogmas Day 13 and Vlogmas Day 14 will be up on December 14th. I'm really sorry about the confusion. <laughs> um, just know that I tried my absolute best. And for some reason, it just didn't upload. I really don't know. Um, I'm also really sorry that today's vlog sucks. I had my doctor's appointment, and then I came home, and then I didn't really do much. And then I went to work, and then I came home. And my brother has two friends in. One of my brother's best friends in from out of town to see him graduate college tomorrow. And my boyfriend and one of my best friends came over. I just, I was enjoying myself instead of, like, worrying about vlogging, so the next couple of vlogs are probably going to be kind of, like, short, but that's just because I have a lot going on with, like, family and stuff, and I'm not totally comfortable vlogging in front of them, so I'm really sorry that this vlog is really short, 
And I'm really sorry that Vlogmas Day 13 is technically up on the 14th. Um, I tried my best. <laughs> I technically did try to upload it on the 13th. So, I'm gonna go to bed because it is 2 a.m. And I have to be up at 8.30. So, thank you guys so much for watching Vlogmas Day 14. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button down below, it really helps me out, it means the absolute world to me. That's all that being said, I will see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 15. I love you all so, so much. Bye.